Hey, I'm Cher. Welcome to readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's go. Welcome new subscribers. Let's go. We're going to go to the Crystal Visions Tarot by Jennifer Galasso. Jennifer Galasso. Just had to check, make sure I had that right. We're going to do a Virgo. 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 Let's give him a break. Virgo. Let's go, Darren. Come on. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Virgo, what we got for you, darling? Let's go. We have the hanged man in the reverse and the death card. You didn't put a lot of thought into something, darling. I think your heart led your head. With the hanged man in the reverse, I did not put a lot of thought into something. And now it's over. Death card. So, so far we've got Pisces, we've got Scorpio. I think I let my heart lead me into something. Hello, spirit. Okay. Hello, spirit. Thanks for joining us. Let's go. The two of Cups feeling the soulmate connection. <laughs> okay. 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 An entire story has just come out here. Wow. If this is not you, Virgo. This is someone else who didn't put a lot of thought into a situation. This is someone who didn't think it was a soulmate connection. With the two of cups coming in. But I gotta tell you, Virgo, I, I, I got some communication coming into you with the eight of wands. The Eight of Wands and the Three of Cups. I got some communication coming in. And it's definitely from someone who didn't put a lot of thought into the situation. I thought it was you, but it's obviously your person. So this is a they reading, a them reading. Feeling a connection now. So death... I'm not putting a lot of thought into this. No, Virgo and I are just friends. Or Virgo understands the circumstances. We're just getting together to have fun, you know? Putting an end to it. But with death, with death, there is rebirth. And the rebirth is understanding a soulmate connection. Feeling a soulmate connection. Feeling, holy crap. You know, I didn't put a lot of thought in it, but I really do feel that Frigo is a soulmate. Now, I'm not really sure how they're feeling. What the hell is going on here? Spirit, what is going on? There's definitely some communi communication coming in, and, and I got this reception of sorts. Someone's got some real good news for you. Or they think it's really good news. What is this good news? Well, you know what? There's been some positive thinking with the Queen of Pentacles coming out here. There's been a lot of positive thinking on someone's part. And here comes Chariot. Yes. Spirit's moving around the room very quickly there is definitely the chariot is on its way 
But the communication. This someone, I believe, is probably blocked. You know, I gotta say that this is not a handsome or a beautiful person. I don't know why the hell I've said that. This is not someone who has spectacularly good looks. This is someone who is just actually very average overall in life. Steady job. An average looking person. But all in all, there's something here about this person that's, um, this is a different kind of energy. Now, Virgo, I'm not sure if you're, uh, if you're trying to manifest here or if it's them. Chariot is on its way and I do have the lovers and I do have letting go of the pain that someone is feeling with the Five of Cups in the reverse. Letting go of looking back, letting go of grief, mourning for somebody. I definitely have a reunion. But the Three of Cups, Three of Cups, I just, you know what, I'm just going to throw something out there. And what I'm seeing is probably someone who may be a fisherman, somebody who uh, may have an old fishing boat that they go out in. Um, could, be a, could be a small rowboat. There's something that you don't see, Virgo. Holy crap. With 6-6, six, six, we're doubling up here with 6-6. Six, six. Let's say that there's a Gemini here. But I also have a Pisces card coming out. Saying there's something that you don't see. There's something that's shrouded mystery. And I really have this feeling that there's someone here who shrouds himself in mystery. There's someone here that's Loving, comforting, average, but loving, comforting. There's something about them. There is a feeling around them that what? <laughs> I can't get my finger on it. There's a, I've never had such a hard time doing a freaking reading because spirit is just. I'm definitely channeling in this person. I'm definitely channeling in someone who thought it was just hmm, friends or friend with benefits or someone who knew that you knew and they knew that you kind of made a pact that, oh, why not? We're not doing nothing. <laughs> just kind of a thing. It was very, very relaxed, very laid back. And then it was done and gone and finished. But it's not. Something here that you're not seeing. What I'm seeing here with 6-6, six, six, equal give and take, soulmate from the past coming back. Soulmate from the past wants to talk to you. Let's get a couple more cards, Spirit. Let's see if we can wrap it up, Spirit. Tell me exactly what's going on here. There will be no text message. So if you're waiting for the phone to go ding, you might as well turn that phone off. There will be no text message. There will be no email. There will be no phone call. This is a knock on the door. It's the Emperor and the Nine of Cups. Wow. 
You know, I don't think the two of you had even planned for this to happen, but it did. I think you were just, you know, like, well, why not? Let's, you know, let's go to the boudoir and we're friends. We can handle it. Well, the boudoir has made this person fall madly in love with you. The devil in the reverse. The magician in the reverse and the two of wands. The two of swords doubled up again. Knight of wands. This is someone, there's something about um, Virgo, there's something about the sexual act. that made this person feel worthy. I don't know what other word to use because spirit is dancing all over these cards. When spirit begins to dance, it's really hard to stay focused into the reality of what I'm seeing. Much like it was very hard for you to focus into the reality of what's ready to happen. When I had the devil in the reverse, you know, this is someone who probably felt, and maybe both of you probably felt that you were being devilish by spending time with each other. It's almost like it was just friends. It was not meant to be anything more. Very, very difficult to read, but I certainly can feel it. Reversed. When I said that, you were probably manifesting them. No, I don't think you are. And I don't think they're manifesting you. But there's almost like there was some sort of a addiction, but it didn't last long. And what I'm going to say is, it was a sexual addiction. Spirit, what are you saying to me? It's something like someone knew, Virgo. Someone knew. that to become involved with you would change their life. They knew it before they even went to you. They knew that there was going to be something that would change their life. The two of wands, the two of swords, and the king of wands say there's there's something here about the passion that you two had. And I'm not going to say you had a lot of passion. Maybe once. No more than six. But standing at the crossroads trying to make the decision. Why do I feel this passionate. Why do I feel this passionate? I I'm going to say, Virgo, this is a friend that you got involved with. Very difficult to read. The Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so Nine of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Four of Wands. We are so wrapped up around marriage here that it's incredible. You make them feel nine of pentacles, the tickety boo card. I really do feel. Thank you, spirit. Bring it in. Bring it in. Mm. With the three of pentacles, the truth in the middle of the three of pentacles and the four of wands, marriage, truth, marriage. Marriage, truth, marriage. What did you do here, Virgo? 
Virgo, I think that you went to someone that was probably thought that somebody like you would never ever have anything to do with somebody like them. And to make love to this person, you, or swing it around, but to make love to this person who they felt was so far above than what they were. And it just, it blew their mind. It blew their mind. I think they struggled with the thought, how could Virgo want anything to do with me? Like, there's, you know, I'm not that attractive. And I'm, you know, just have a basic job. I'm not rich. But this person fell madly, madly in love with you. Get ready. They're coming back. They're just trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Standing at the crossroads. Trying to make the decision. And what is this decision? That most of the decision is up in their head. Is why did Virgo want anything to do with me? Look at me. I, I'm no one special. And I really do think that Virgo, they think that you are above, above special. Thank you, spirit. Marriage card. Truth is, this is someone who is so infatuated, so in love, yet so confused because they feel so average. The truth is, they want to marry you. And if you were to go back and continue on the way it happened in the beginning, I see that they will be very faithful and they will, they will marry you. Taurus, Gemini, Capricorn, Aries, Pisces, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Oh my God. That was so hard to read. But thank you, Spirit. Whoa. And thank you, Virgo, for joining me today. No mistake.